Welcome to Drawfee, where we take dumb ideas and make even dumber drawings. I'm Julia. I'm Jacob. And I'm Karina. And um, why did we do this to me? Why did we do this to me? What we're doing to you yeah. is an impossible coloring challenge. Why? 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 Is it's that not because, fun? Um, <laughs> this idea came to us from Antlion1001. They said we should try to draw something that would be just the most difficult for Julia to color. Yeah, because if you don't know, I do um, all of the renders except for Karina and Jacob's renders. So it's like Julia's got a lot of work to do. What if we <laughs> gave her... A lot more work to do for no good reason. Yay! Yeah, well, Yay. I'm curious to see what you guys have for me. Uh, yeah, Jacob, you're starting the drawing, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna start us off. <laughs> yeah, and, and uh, I've never backed down from a challenge. Sure. <laughs> I'm trying to think of like what would be the most difficult things to color. I'm just gonna start with like a head. Sure. And I'm gonna put some things on this head that I think are gonna be <laughs> difficult. Yeah, I'm trying to think of things that are difficult. It's like certain textures are hard, anything that's translucent. Yeah, is there anything personally you find <laughs> yeah, difficult? Yeah, yeah, just yeah, yeah. Uh, just out of curiosity. I think like translucent things I have a hard time with. Yeah. I'm definitely gonna get some of that. With Absolutely. Some, but with I'm starting off there. with a, a metal plate on the head. Cool. Uh, a very shiny chrome. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Metal plate. That would be fun. Um, right here on this portion of the head so oh, you can see. It'll be fun until we start adding things you have to put in the reflection. Oh, yeah. no. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a mirror? That's how shiny it is? <laughs> So it's like it's like a very shiny, like high polish. Yeah, oh. this is what you plate. wanted, right? I guess so. Yeah. <laughs> and then I think like underneath it is is hair. Uh huh. Great. Uh, detailed, sort of a detailed tuft of hair. Yeah, <laughs> many braids. Uh, kind of coming out. Oh, oh braids. A braid. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Interesting choice. Funny you should mention Funny that. Funny you should mention that. Uh, it, this one is in fact braided like yeah. this. <laughs> like this. Like this. <laughs> It's what a, is that? That's like that. that I think I think bread. we played ourselves because wait, <laughs> I don't know how to draw a braid. I do. There's a there's a way to do it, but how do braid? Man, I should have been paying attention when I stayed up till three watching five minute craft videos, <laughs> drawing hacks. Yeah, what were you even doing? It's just what I anyway, do. Anyway, that's <laughs> that's close enough to a braid. Yeah. Cool. I mean, and it becomes a tuft at the end. The ultimate, you know, the, the thing that is hardest for me to color is something that is cannot make sense. Yeah. You know, because then I, I have to like re ink these things. And I always try to make <laughs> things make sense when I re ink it. So then I think mm -hmm. you mentioned translucent. Yeah. Maybe the other half of this head is like a dome, a translucent dome. Right. So you can see through it and you see the brain. Oh, like a Game Boy. Like like <laughs> like one of those like translucent purple Game Boys. But instead okay. of seeing the the controls, you're seeing like the brain in here and it's like floating in some goop. Yeah, it's in liquid. Yeah, it's it's in liquid. So That's this a is a huge brain. This is well, maybe this character's really smart. That's how brains work. And you know you got to get all the brain veins. I'm just gonna hint at it because it's not <laughs> right. really my. Yeah. I was just thinking that something else that's, that's difficult to render is um, like very tiny details, like chain mail, or in this case, brain matter. Brain mail. Brain mail. <laughs> the brain's wearing armor. <laughs> there's chains the on the brain. There's chains on the brain. <laughs> I got chains on the brain. <laughs> what happened to this poor soul? <laughs> yeah, so who is this person? The, well, the, is this a person? I think we're going to have to figure that out as we go because clearly this brain needed to be chained down <laughs> so that it wouldn't, control. it wouldn't escape. So lots of like links here, chaining yeah. this brain to the head area. Great. Uh, and we're just going to have to kind of work with <laughs> with what I've begun here. I think this is a Final Fantasy summon. It's a, it's a Final Fantasy something, <laughs> for sure. And I feel like I also want to establish, before we get too much further here, light sources. Right. Important. There's going to be a few. <laughs> a few, huh? I oh. think there's one back in the back right, like a backlit. So it's shining from like <laughs> back behind the character. Mm -hmm. But then there's also one like up here. 
shining directly down. So you got to get like a, I'm thinking like a strong backlight and then sort of like a, a 50% top light and then like a 30% under lit. <laughs> I think that's fair. Where is this person? So this is, this is a 50% <laughs> and this is about 30%. I like to imagine they're at like a rave. So it'll probably be really crowded. <laughs> and there's lots of like different colored lights. Yeah, lots of like neon type stuff. Yeah, right. lots of neon. I don't know what this person's deal is. <laughs> they're a, a raver. Here. <laughs> they're yeah. a future this raver. Just an average raver. Just your average <laughs> raver with their, their chain brain. <laughs> um, I think I'm gonna do one eye, and I'm gonna leave the other eye for Karina. Okay. Because I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna do some features. That oh. is something else that's difficult is trying to unify two very different art styles. I'll try to at least not get too difficult with my sketches. I appreciate that. Hey, Jacob. Is this a hyper-realistic eye? I think it's going to be a hyper-realistic eye, but too big. So it's kind of like a doll's eye. Nice. And Julia, you can make it. You're really good at realistic eyes. Right. So you can really, you know, realistic realism it up. Yeah. Yeah. Make it nice and watery. Yeah, really watery, really wet. (laughs) So you want me to go for realistic in in this whole render? On the eye. On the eye? Yeah. Not the whole thing? Not the whole thing. I mean, the parts of it that you think should be, like the yeah. hair and the brain. That okay. should be realistic. Yeah. Okay. But any parts where it'd be more difficult to stylize it, I think you should definitely go for a more stylistic Great. approach. Great, <laughs> thanks. And yeah, I want like a, like a legit, like every hair on the eyebrow, <laughs> I want to be, to be individually rendered. We're gonna need this. The fans will demand nothing less. <laughs> okay, there's one eye and it's in perfect placement. Maybe, She's wearing like a like a pauldron, like armor, but it's made of like a big stone rock. Just a really textured like sandstone <laughs> boulder on the shoulder here. So, you know, lots of like little dots and like little sandy little textures. Now, how many liberties do I have with say the construction of this rock? The construction? Are you are you, you can't that deconstruct it? Kind of like like a like a pile of a kitty litter is what it is th- what it, this looks like. This looks like a pile of kitty litter. It's very it cubic. Yeah, it's a rock. <laughs> <laughs> it's a it's a rock. What are you talking about? <laughs> kitty litter doesn't clump into perfect rock shapes. <laughs> a perfect flawless rock that I've drawn. Also, she's wet. She's very. Oh, she's so she just, has three lighting sources on her face and is also wet. Yeah, she's sweaty because she's, yeah, she's raving. Because she's raving. She has a rock on her shoulder okay. for a rave outfit. So this is a rave. <laughs> this is a rave, yeah. Okay, that will determine the color scheme. This this hair is really wet on this side. <laughs> the other one, not so much. The other one's still dry. She, <laughs> she sweats from left to right. <laughs> the other side is bone dry. <laughs> it's like sticking out a little. <laughs> yeah, this side's really dry. <laughs> And so some of it's like a little frizzy. Yeah. (laughs) So there's a few like, you know, frizzy hairs over here coming out. I (laughs) think you. (laughs) I think we have the start of a really solid character here. (laughs) Definitely not overworked. Yeah, absolutely not. (laughs) At all. Karina, do you want to jump in and like add some stuff here? I would gladly jump in and just make it better. So I think for her other eye, she'll have like... One of those Dragon Ball Z kind of looking things. Oh, like a scouter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, which is again translucent. Yeah, it's like translucent. And there, there needs to be like those, um, like in the show when they're reading someone's power level, <laughs> you can see like all the little yeah. like symbols and numbers on it a little bit. So you'll have to put that in. That'll probably be like white. Like it'll probably have a little light to it. I was about to say, yeah, it also has light to it. <laughs> yeah, you better a fourth lighting source. Yeah, it's gonna glow a bit. Bold so you want to glow. assume that's the only uh, one I'm gonna add. <laughs> oh, no, you're right. You're right though. There will definitely be some glow there, yeah, to take um, to account for, but a very soft glow. So for the mouth. Yeah, for the mouth. I think she needs to have individually rendered teeth. <laughs> <laughs> I think she does too, actually. I, I think, think that's that, really oh, important. I think that is, only makes sense. This is going to be the most disturbing thing we've ever made on the show. I think it might be. It's a really horrifying idea. I mean, I'm not going to render it. You are. This is a <laughs> Resident Evil boss. Exposed brain, wet but also dry, human teeth. I guess she needs a nose. Probably. That would be a good nose. It needs something. Yeah. A good difficult nose. Yeah. Maybe it's just like, it's like a, 
a porous nose. Like nostrils? Like, like a Voldemort th- nose? Uh, what? Like uh like you can see like the pores <laughs> oh, in, in her okay. skin on the nose. Aww. Sort of a potatoy nose. And you can definitely like see all the pores. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, okay. This never- is a rave I would not want to. <laughs> I've never to. heard of a nose described as porous, but I get you. Yeah. You understand me. Yeah. You're with me. I get you. You're either with me or against me, Karina. No, no, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> How much fan art do you think we'll be getting of this character? <laughs> so much. The most. <laughs> Impossible to replicate. <laughs> Karina, can you include this in the Hawkeye PI? Yeah. <laughs> include this character, please. Oh, my God. Okay. So she's in some kind of like future sci-fi yeah. dystopia. Clearly, she's like if oh. Fallout had a rave <laughs> scene, this would be the character because this is definitely like a ghoul. Yeah, for <laughs> sure, she's ghoulish. Okay, well, <clears throat> she needs to have all her little rave jewelry. Oh yeah, those yeah, do, so those all glow. You need to have the little glowing like necklaces things. Yeah, glow sticks, glow but, necklaces. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. And Julia uh. did mention chain mail, so maybe we could get <laughs> some of that in there somewhere, Great. like it's a another... like a chain mail crop top. Ooh, a chain mail crop top. Yeah, that seems is... painful. She another has experienced stick. so much pain already. <laughs> it's true. What's a little more <laughs> at this point? Um, she needs one of those like candy necklaces, just little tiny beads, you know, mm-hmm. just the smallest beads. <laughs> mm-hmm. You know, I had like some semblance of hope because <laughs> it's just like if we keep if we keep this image this size, I'm only gonna get to like the hips. <laughs> so I wouldn't have to do like legs. What and if all she's that? doing the splits? What if she's doing the splits? <laughs> and that's what you do at the rave, right? What if she's doing a big split? <laughs> Thanks for pointing that out, Julia. <laughs> yeah. That would have been embarrassing if we didn't get the full split okay, in there. So So yeah, legs out. (laughs) (laughs) She's got a squat little body. Yeah, she's little. (laughs) She's little but proud. She's at the rave. She's at the rave. This Um, is what you do when you're at the rave. Yeah, so a little chain mail crop top, huh? Yeah, I I wouldn't even know how to draw that, to be honest with you. Yeah, I'm just going to kind of suggest it in, and Julia can fix it. (laughs) Yeah, Julia will fix it. In the color. Julia will fix it in the render. That's something we genuinely say all the time. Yeah. I get a lot of notes from Nathan that just, Julia, in in the render, can you make this foot make sense? Yeah, can you make this good? (laughs) Thanks. Just make this right? I think you just kind of like do like some hatching or something. That's usually what Nathan does when he does chain mail. Yeah. This looks like a macaroni. (laughs) 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 Macaroni crop top. (laughs) Macaroni crop top. Should it be a macaroni crop top? Is it too late? (laughs) I think it's up to Julia. Okay, it's either chain mail or macaroni, Julia. That's up to you. Whichever fits the aesthetic. Yeah. Remember that chain mail, you know, pretty shiny, but macaroni very dry. (laughs) Very dry, not shiny at all. Pretty crunchy. If it's cooked, yeah, what if it's cooked? (laughs) If it's cooked, I don't think this is going to hold together very well. It's wet versus dry. Yeah. This could also be the way you're drawing it, hair, <laughs> just like a hair shirt. I think it's Aww. open to interpretation at this point because yeah. I'm not going to fix this. As all true art is, it's open to interpretation. I don't know how to do anything, so it's your job to figure that out. <laughs> no. <laughs> Maybe it just changes across. It's half macaron. It it yeah. morphs into <laughs> from oh, yeah. macaroni so like into chain mail. A slow gradient. <laughs> from macaroni to chain mail to hair. Yeah. <laughs> from left to right. <laughs> you know, the the most difficult thing to color is something that's literally impossible <laughs> to exist. Gee. <laughs> I don't know if it's impossible to exist. <laughs> it's just I'm that no to, one wanted it. I'm going to Google macaroni chain mail. Hair. Hair. <laughs> Shirt. Um, Crop top. I'm going to give her a little shoulder. Oh, yeah. Pad. You give her a shoulder, too. Yeah. And this is also just going to be another chrome thing. Okay, yeah, I like that. Get some more shinies in there. Or even better, it can be a little disco ball. Oh, that's lovely. She's here to have a good time. Here for a good time, (laughs) not for a long time. (laughs) My kind of girl. 
That has so many rules in a disc. <laughs> <laughs> it is a series of flat mirror squares. How many yeah. more light sources is that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, like a thousand? Okay, now here's the fun part because arms got to be doing something. Yeah, they definitely do. Um, we know that legs are doing a split. Yeah. And teeth are a chomping. <laughs> <laughs> your, your, your light source instructions <laughs> are just getting right in the way of this pelvis. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's my bad. It's just going to look like that now. <laughs> just pointing right up there. What are complicated pants? Because I'm thinking like trip pants. Yeah. Or like those somewhat reflective, shiny, uh, like Aladdin pants. What are they called? Parachute pants? Uh -huh. Shiny parachute pants, maybe. I think oh, and they're like sequin. Sequin <laughs> is good. I think some portion should be sequin, and maybe there yeah. should be a portion that's leather. Yeah, I like fashion. <laughs> yeah, you do. So we're gonna do very loose. A lot of, a lot, lot of, of bunches. Folds yeah, and shit. folds and yeah. bunches. And this part is also sequin. I'm gonna indicate that a little. All of it. Yes. Okay. Did you get that, Julia? It's all of it. All of it is sequins. Mm -hmm. It's sequins and folds. <laughs> it feels so bad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm noticing, does she not have two arms? Did we address uh, this? And I, and I blacked I'll out somewhere? I'll get to that. Okay. Yeah, we're coming back to it. Yeah, because it's going to just end with realistic hands, which is not a thing I'm good at drawing, so I'm just avoiding it. I guess in the end. Well, listen, this isn't the challenge <laughs> Karina episode. <laughs> in the end, <laughs> it's not my problem. So then this part is going to be leather. Okay, leather like sort shiny of. shiny leather. Leg warmers. Leather leg warmers. They're just one pair of pants. Maybe right. this will also be, like the band is leather. The band is leather. These are this leather. This is style. <laughs> this is, they're very shiny. This is future style. Everyone's going to wear a rock on one <laughs> shoulder. A disco ball on the other. Sequin pants <laughs> with leather leg parts. Um... What do you think for the arms? Hmm. One of them could be like a fish tank. What? I was trying to think of what else is difficult. To <laughs> One draw. of the arms could be a fish tank. Okay. Yeah. Well, okay. Because I, I was gonna to say be. robot arm. But yeah. Fish tank arm. One can be a fish tank. <laughs> Damn, Julia's in the year 3000 over here. <laughs> and we're stuck back here in the year 2000. Aquarium arm, arm aquarium. Okay, I'm gonna make this real fun for you. The Ar one an that's aquarium? an arm aquarium Thank is you. gonna be right next to this backlight. So oh. and the disco ball. Yeah. <laughs> so that's gonna make that's gonna cast a blue light. Okay. Yeah. Oh, so no. this is this is just a, a weird <laughs> thing. <laughs> this is just our aquarium. <laughs> We're not gonna question how how this works. We haven't questioned anything so far. Yeah. But we're especially <laughs> not gonna question how this works. She's got chain brain. <laughs> she does have chain brains. And we're so cool there's with that. gonna be a little fish in here. I don't even know what the chains are fastened oh, to. Oh, it's gonna oh. be a beta fish. One of those really like flowy fish. Yeah. Oh god. <laughs> they have One to be by themselves, fishes. yeah. Or else they'll very aggressive. They'll kill. That's why it's in the arm. So you gotta remember that this is gonna be backlit because the light's right here. Damn, this and looks this like a dope is... tattoo though. Well, it's not. <laughs> it's a fish tank. It's, it's a aquarium. fish tank. <laughs> that's an arm. So this is glass and that's water. And that's a beta fish. Yeah. Well, I guess you should also have like a, a hand. Uh, Can you fix this hand for me? <laughs> <laughs> Julia, fix the hand and post if you have extra yeah. time. I mean, the hardest thing that we've done. Make sure you give her fingernails. Sure. That I ever Shiny. have to color are like the, the five second or 30 <laughs> second drawings that we do. Because I just, I have to take so many leaps there where things are just like disconnected. Like my favorite, you know. <laughs> Kazooie, yeah. Kazooie's head is a mile away from her neck. Yeah, I think this is going to be the hardest thing you've ever had to color. Yeah, for Droppy. I think this is it. This is legitimately it. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think so. Here, she's gonna have like a little robot joint. This one's robot. Yeah. This one's bot arm. I only know how to draw one kind of robot arm, so we're well, not gonna talk that's about fine. it. One more than I know how to draw. <laughs> we're not so. gonna talk about how this is just McCree's arm. <laughs> um. I wasn't gonna say it, but you said it. You brought it up. I know. And we're yeah, not here talk we are. about it anymore. Here, here we live. <laughs> Let's just say this is a light. Oh good. Yeah. yeah that Hand light. is a light. And there'll be like That's a screen. Oh yeah, it can be a whole screen. <sighs> yeah. That's an Apple Watch. <laughs> a futuristic yeah, Apple she's Watch. She's watching like 
another rave video. On her. <laughs> She's watching her favorite like nightcore remix. <laughs> so there's like a little anime girl on the screen. <laughs> She's watching Frasier <laughs> on that one. A Frasier Nightcore remix. Yeah, she's watching a Frasier Nightcore remix. So make sure you establish Yeah, that make that's sure a... that's really, you can really tell that's what she's watching. <laughs> oh, I feel Did you awful. get that, Julia? Frasier Nightcore remix? I... Did you get that? <laughs> you know? I made it a mental note that I, I'm going to have to go YouTube Nightcore <laughs> remixes of things. So Sorry. I get the, the vibe and then... I'll try to work in for I'll just tell you now that Nightcore is what I listen to when I'm trying to stay up for more to- than two days straight. Okay. it gives me anxiety. Okay. Um, what kind of shoes? Um, I think Crocs. Okay. She's wearing Crocs <laughs> to the rave. Well, you want to be comfy and you want to have, <laughs> right. you want to be breathable. Um, do I know what a Croc looks like? Kind looks of. Looks like a duckbill with- mm. um, It's got a strap yeah. thing on it. Yeah. And they're- they're just full of holes. Here you go. I'm about to. I'm gonna pull you up some reference. It's really important to get the croc right. But yeah, we got to get the croc right. I mean, what I don't get right, Julia will just fix. Julia will fix it. Yeah, so that's good. Ooh. Now, <laughs> <laughs> are you looking at tie dye Crocs over there? Now these aren't Crocs, but they're they're six hundred dollar Crocs. Oh, oh, are these like goth Crocs? They're kind of goth Crocs. It's a Croc with with little shits on it. These are Balenciaga Crocs. Oh my God. Well, she'll have Those platform, are platform Crocs. Platform yes. Crocs. Platform but I think I'll Crocs. make them goth Crocs now that you mention it. Make them goth Crocs. What does the back look like? Goth Crocs. It has spikes, it has little metal spikes. <laughs> I think you're going to be like willing goth Crocs into existence by saying. No, these that already phrase. exist. They already I've exist. I've seen them. No. I, I've seen them somewhere. It has a little chain. This Do is they a chain, have to? Julia. That's a chain. So draw all the links. Yeah. Okay. So you gotta... <laughs> I just Googled Croc shoes on people to see how people actually wear them. And most people put the strap in, on the top. I but it can go in the back. I whatever. Don't get it. So whatever. <laughs> um, I don't understand croc culture. <laughs> I refuse to understand it. Yeah, so here's her platform crocs. They got little spikes and shit. Um it has a little metal cross. Goth crocs. Goth Crocs. Um, and I was thinking for her other shoe, it'll be one of those like cool fashion boots where it's clear. What? You oh. know those clear boots so you can like see what socks you're wearing? I oh. have seen those and I don't like them. I'm Googling <laughs> this again. This is a thing, I promise. I'm very, I'm very savvy. <laughs> <laughs> That's what all the savvy people say. Yeah. I'm very savvy. <laughs> oh no! Yeah, clear boot. So she's got. It makes some, your feet look like produce. She's got some really crazy <laughs> socks going on. Just a lot of lines and shit. Colors, lines. Yeah, rave socks. Rave socks. This episode has become upsetting to me <laughs> on a different level. So. I started off upset. <laughs> now I'm upset for different reasons because I'm looking at but these yeah, clear so her, boots. Her boot is clear. So yeah. So when she walks around, she's really just like on <laughs> two different heights. She's got a platform. One leg is longer than the other. Yeah, she's, yeah it balances out. It evens okay. out. All right. Um, so it, we're really only missing one thing, and that's is? the crowd. Yeah. Yeah, you want to just like hint at it? Yeah, I mean, and Julia. Julia, <laughs> Julia can do it Yeah. Uh, in post. Julia will get yeah. the whole crowd in there. This is a rave. I remember it's a <laughs> rave, so they have glow sticks. Yeah, everyone has okay. glow sticks that are all lit up uh, okay. from their own their own sources. <laughs> this is, <laughs> Karina, you're doing an excellent job. <laughs> I love drawing crowds. <laughs> I can tell by how often you do it. <laughs> and she's the star of the show. Yeah, she's, she's like in the center. <laughs> yeah. She's the Bella LaBall. Oh, no. Whatever. Her oh. name is Bella LaBall. <laughs> and she's the Belle of the Ball. I love Bella LaBall. <laughs> <laughs> Bella LaBall's a good name, and I've wasted it. <laughs> What do you mean? I've wasted it on this character no one wants, and it will never be reproduced. <laughs> Well, she's here now. She's here now, baby. <laughs> Living her best life. All right. Good for her. <laughs> I'm gonna go try my best, I guess. Okay. All right. Great. We'll uh we'll check back in with Julia to see how it all went down. 
Thank you. Uh, so we'll see you guys in just a minute. Good luck. <laughs> you can do it. Uh, You'll be fine. <laughs> and we're back. Yay. Huh. It's been a thousand years. It feels like a thousand years. <laughs> of Julia coloring this image. I feel so tired. <laughs> I feel so bad. <laughs> yeah, I felt bad immediately after we finished recording the episode. Um, but apparently you have completed the task. I did. I recorded my screen so we can view it. And we're going to check out what you did and see how you handled this <laughs> insane thing we yeah. did. This, yeah. This horrible OC, I Bella kept, LaBall. I kept forgetting how many things actually glowed in this. And I kept having, you'll see that I made like a layer to tell me where the light sources are. And then I made the layer, I wrote everything down and I started coloring and I was like, oh wait, no, this glows and this and this thing and also this. Yeah. We kept yeah, we did a making lot of that. it worse. Yeah. 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 You certainly did. <laughs> yeah. We're bad. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. You want to bring us in, Julia? <laughs> yep. So first I have to like ink Oh yeah. You have to everything. ink this whole thing. <laughs> I had to ink this whole Thing. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. Yeah. Uh, you had to look at her <laughs> face so close up. <laughs> I really did. There are so many parts of this that oh, do chain. not make sense. Like, where did those chains go to? I don't know. Down into her head. Yeah. Okay. Obviously. So they're wrapped around her brain. Okay, I get that now. Yeah, they're holding the brain down. <laughs> yeah. That's brain chains. Brain, That's how they work. That's brain how they chains, work. Yeah. yeah. So I uh, remember the note that you said that I had to make realistic like brain brain squiggles. Yes, those are good. Those are good squiggles. Thanks, and then realistic individual yes. eyebrow hairs. Yep, perfect, perfect. Yep. And then here come the, the real human teeth. <laughs> yeah, Karina kind of shark toothed it a little bit. <laughs> a little bit. So, but you know what? I took the note and I made some realistic oh, human wow. teeth. Oh, wow, fangs and everything. Yeah, those canines. I did glance over at some point and you saw just ha you just had like a picture of teeth <laughs> on your monitor. You should have seen my tabs for this thing. It was like human brain, then human teeth, then Frasier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. There were a lot of, oh, and chain mail, because I had to figure out how chain mail works. You're definitely on a list somewhere now for yeah. searching those things in rapid succession. I know. <laughs> and someone desperately at the FBI is trying to figure out how Frasier works its way in. Yeah, they're like, how does this add up? We have to figure it out before she strikes. Yeah. <laughs> Got the weird, the, hand. the weird hand. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I had to fix a few angles in here. And then I just left the braid as is because I thought it was hilarious. <laughs> it's a perfect braid. That's how you braid Sure. That's how you braid, sure. <laughs> I just kept thinking about that bread that's braided. Braid bread. Braid bread. I braid. was doing bread braid. <laughs> hey, you ready? Um, <laughs> so I remembered the note that y'all gave me. Oh, here comes Frasier. Oh, he's anime Frasier. Nightcore Frasier. Here's Nightcore Frasier. Holy shit, Julia. <laughs> you actually drew this anime. This is exactly <laughs> what we wanted. Nightcore Frasier. This is incredible. <laughs> you did a fully realized Nightcore Frasier. <laughs> oh. Those are the, the EQ bars in the back. No one can even see that. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I looked at that shirt and was like, I'll leave that for the end because I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, here's where you <laughs> took a break to think about what you've done. <laughs> yeah. I give, your, give your mind a minute. You're probably actually ordering food. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we were. Yeah, I uh, I had to take a break in here to oh, here eat. Come goth Crocs. Goth Crocs. <laughs> I figured out the angles of the Goth Crocs. And then <laughs> I forgot about the clear shoe. I had the clear shoe. <laughs> oh my god, she's coming to life. Still no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Still no on that one. Still no. <laughs> her one anime eye her one anime eye and then she was very drippy here's me trying to figure out how to do this whole segment so is this this is the the macaroni or the chains this is the chains um ooh uh, full disclosure, forgot about the macaroni angle. So it doesn't go from macaroni to chains to That's hair? That's fair. No. I, <laughs> I forgot. feel like we were pretty clear about what we wanted. <laughs> I forgot. Here's uh, the crowd, which I decided to leave uh, as is. Thank you. It was perfect. This was me trying to figure out where the gap was in the fill. Okay, so you got a little bit of light from there. Yeah, I'm trying to establish my light sources already. Sure. That's reasonable to do. Yeah. 
Okay, now now I'm going to start putting in some solids. God, the colors are all over the place <laughs> on this one. How could they not be? It's yeah, just like- She's at a rave. She's at a rave. It's like- Everyone's like that. It, there's so many highly saturated <laughs> colors that are all over the color wheel on this because it's a goddamn rave. <laughs> I like her. That's right. Teeth. I color. I colored in the. Uh, well, she's indoors. She's in a dark room. It's gonna be grayish. You're saying she doesn't maintain her dental hygiene appropriately. <laughs> Bella Labal. She does. She's indoors. Heiress to the Labal fortune. So it's gonna be darkish. So her teeth are gonna be darkish. <laughs> Not gonna be perfectly pearly white. Just like her eyeball. Her eyeball isn't perfectly white. Yeah, I don't ever think about that until later. <laughs> I make it white and then I change it if I need to. This is me trying to get the water in the Okay, thing. good, good. There's the water. I'm blocking in the uh, sequin pants. Here's some socks. <laughs> I made the socks gray, because why not? Those aren't rave socks. <laughs> she, listen, when you're dancing all night, you gotta wear comfortable footwear. Yeah, but they could be colorful. That's true. Gray socks. <laughs> We're gonna go to a business meeting. Oh, I Night Court Frazier. <laughs> Let's go. I have to call her a Nightcore Frasier. I my... love Nightcore Frasier. <laughs> this is my favorite part by far of the whole drawing. I really wanted to keep this as a surprise for you guys. Do you like that I put shading in his eyeballs? Yeah, that was that's wonderful. He's so anime. He's very anime. Oh my God. This is coming together. <laughs> there she is. There Here we she go. is. <laughs> Rrm. Rrm. That's room. the room lighting. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> All the goddamn light sources. <laughs> the amount of planning. I put some speckling into the pants to make sure they looked sequin. Yeah, you know, with yeah. That blue, the blue yes. rim lighting. This is <laughs> unbelievable. This was a this was a task. This is <laughs> it's such a lift. Now you have to see me try to figure out how the lighting on this goddamn face works. Oh yeah. <laughs> because there's lighting on her face and also above her face. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Got it coming from above and below. As above, so below. So now I have to light e each individual chain link <laughs> on the shirt. <laughs> from the glow sticks around her neck. Oh, wow. Yeah, you're going for it. Here yep. it comes. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. Okay, robot arm Me coming in here. Metal's very shiny. Yeah. I had to get that in too. Yeah, metal is very shiny. Um, that's me doing some fades because there's so many light sources. <laughs> yeah, you gotta get some fades in there. Oh yeah, yeah, disco ball. I have to get the disco ball. You can see where like I kind of gave up on certain things. I like started with some things and I was like, yeah, fuck it, that's You're good doing enough. so much. Yeah, it's already so much. This would have taken me days to do. Oh, scouter light, very scouter nice. Scouter light, yes. yeah. Yes. She had to have that. Just so many light sources. Oh yeah, yeah. They gotta be shining upwards and there's light shining downwards. This was me trying to remember what layer all that was on. Oh, there's the we reached that the fish. point in the drawing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Where I, where I kind of just threw some things onto other layers and was like, I'll definitely remember that later, and I definitely don't. Okay. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So we're now we're getting in some of the metal texture here. Yeah. For the the many metal pieces she has. Yeah. Uh, sequin pants. Here you go. Lots of folds. Wow. Yeah. And I made it darker at the top and lighter at the bottom because that light coming in from the bottom. <laughs> the floor is glowing. <laughs> I noticed you've uh, you, you've hinted at sequins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. we're not getting full sequins. I definitely here. gave up very fast. <laughs> That's on fair. the sequins. It's it's fair. I hinted it with the blue, and then for the rest of it, I was so tired. Yeah. I have so much to do today, and I was like, okay, I gotta cut my losses somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Here's the realistic hair texture. Oh, yeah. I remember realistic. you said that. <laughs> I did say that. <laughs> hair texture and rock texture, oh, very important to me. Oh, so I really the, hope rock texture comes in. The green lighting looks great. The it green lighting great. was was a fun pop. Oh, yep. I thought to do those chains and was like, never mind, I'm going to do the rock. Do the rock. <laughs> Shoulder rock. Also, this was all in the wrong layer, so I had to move that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we got chain shade. Yeah, chain shade. Uh, you're lucky that I forgot to express to you that her brain was glowing. I was no! thinking that it was. What? I was thinking that it was going to be glowing out of that dome. <sighs> but I forgot to say it, so you're in the that clear. That was never established. Yeah. I decided to make that chain gold for some reason. Oh, I like that. I just thought it would be a nice pop. That is a nice pop. <laughs> 
Yep, we got some highlights on them chains over there. Nice. Got to put some shadowing on the brains. Yep, yep. Got to get that. Ooh, Make nice them and shiny wet. Because they're nice and yes. wet. Yes. And then love a wet brain. The glass covering the brain. Here's some rock texture because I certainly was not going to do that manually. It's gross rock texture. You're a gross rock she texture. She doesn't have a nasty, dirty poop rock. <laughs> oh yes, the glow. There's so many. The glows. glow. Yes. Oh. All my the background God. glow sticks. <laughs> Bella. Here's some lights in the back to really establish the scene. And there you go. Bella, you beautiful queen. Oh, you, you princess. You princess of my heart, my favorite character, Bella Laval. This does look like a, a bad JRPG character. It definitely does. I mean, I think she's going to have to be in like the canon this somewhere. This is like a bad, a bad cyberpunk. What's the full name? Name of 2077. that game? Yeah, 2077 <laughs> character. Yeah, this is Keanu Reeves' girlfriend <laughs> in Cyberpunk 2077. Perfect. Julia, you did an amazing job. You did so much. Thank yeah. you. That's great. Thank this, you. This is a treat and a delight. Thank I've, you so much for subjecting yourself. I have never yourself. felt so I feel, burnt out. I feel less bad <laughs> about putting you up to this challenge seeing how well you did with it. Well, yeah. thank you. We're going to have to make it harder next time for sure. Yeah. Oh. Next time. On the next one of these we do because this is going to get 3 million views. <laughs> oh, no. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed this kind of video where we subject Julia to oh. torture, where we torture a friend and loved one, <laughs> um, let us know in the comments and let us know if you just like the videos in general, if you like us in general. We always like to hear it. I think more than anything this time, Julia, you don't have to be sorry, but for me and Karina... <laughs> We're definitely sorry. I'm like super sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I accept your apologies. Oh, thank God. Bye. 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 Hey, gang, if you like that video, then the best way to support Drawfee is to sign up for Dropout. It costs less than a tube of tennis balls a month, and you'll get Drawfee videos a week early. You'll also get to talk to us on the Discord and you'll get access to exclusive series like D20 and Cartoon Hell. Sign up for your free trial to drop out on dropout.tv. Won't cost you an arm and a leg nor your soul, though I did ask for that and they said no. So, whatever.